Tim, it seemed like you guys blitzed a lot more tonight than you have the rest of the, of the season. Is that true? And how frustrating was it to have to be so close and not be able to get home? Well, uh, yeah, I'm really not sure how much we blitzed. Uh, it seemed like a lot. Um, yeah, we got to get home. Uh, I feel like we executed the blitzes uh, pretty well. Um, and just like you said, we got to get home. We saw how AM gave them some, some trouble with some of those pressures and stuff, so we tried to emulate that a little bit. And um, we got home a couple times, but uh, we obviously would like to get home a few more times. John? Jay, what was Bryce Young doing tonight that allowed him to be uh, kind of so successful? And what did he do that kind of created problems for you all, you think? Yeah, well, I mean, he's a great player, first and foremost. You know, that's why he's at, he's at Alabama. And um, and then to go hand-in-hand -hand with that, he's got a great supporting staff around him, you know, coaches and players. And uh, so credit to them. They're, they're a great team. Um, I think we we need to execute a little bit better. Um, Coach Arnett put us in the best position possible, I think. Um, <laughs> and we just need to execute a little bit better and um, play the next play. And uh, But credit to them. Yeah. What do you think Alabama was doing to get so much pressure on Will? And how much can seven sacks hurt what you guys are doing on offense? Um, uh, we're over there making adjustments. That's, you know, that's hard to tell. But, um, you know, um, it hurts. But, I mean, you, you know, we got to play the next play, like uh, Coach always says, and uh, have a great prep this week. And, you know, uh, we have 24 hour rule. You know, this game's over. We've got to uh, correct the mistakes and look ahead uh, to the man. Steve, you got six more games left, and you know, at the halfway point, you're three and three, so there's a lot left to play for for you guys. I mean, does that make it easier to endure something like this, knowing you got six games left, and every one of those could be a wonderful game for you? Oh, yeah, you know, this, as y'all seen, this team has no quit in this, um, as y'all saw early in the, in the season. So we're going to uh, keep our heads down, keep pushing, and uh, play every game, you know, like it's, uh, like it's our last. Andy. You just said there was some miscommunications on both offense and defense. Just what, what kind of factored into that, and how do you try to approach that? Oh uh, yeah, he did say uh, we we didn't communicate very well. Um, I don't know, because um, you know we're at home. Maybe the I feel like maybe the logo we let the logo get us down a little bit of you know the A and stuff. But you know that stuff we got to clean up. I think we had a great week of, of preparation. You know we had the bye week and, and things. So um, I don't know, but. We've got to communicate better, obviously. So I think I think we'll, that'll be a, a, a focus point, and we'll get that fixed. Yeah. As a team, you guys have had some struggle kick in the last few weeks. Was it good to have Brandon back and him able to go three for three? Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, anytime you can get points on the board, that's a that's a win. Um, so credit to Brandon for for uh, coming back and, and doing a great job.